As dusk settled over the town of Cedar Hollow, an unusual fog crept in, swirling like ghostly tendrils along the deserted streets. Residents peered from their windows, unnerved by the thick mist that obscured familiar landmarks. Within the fog, shadows moved, silhouettes of figures that seemed to materialize then vanish upon closer inspection. Whispers echoed through the air, chilling those who dared to listen. Among the townspeople was young Lily, drawn by curiosity to the fog's edge. As she ventured closer, the shadows beckoned, their forms shifting and dancing in the opaque haze. Fear clawed at her heart, but a strange compulsion drove her forward. Suddenly, the mist parted, revealing a spectral figure, a woman in tattered garments, her eyes hollow yet pleading. Lily froze, unable to tear her gaze away. The figure extended a hand, its touch icy and insubstantial. A voice, soft yet laden with sorrow, whispered, Join us. Before Lily could react, the fog enveloped her, swallowing her screams. The townspeople awoke the next day to find Cedar Hollow shrouded in an impenetrable mist, the whispers growing louder, mourning the addition of another lost soul. From that day on, the fog of Cedar Hollow bore a sinister reputation, a veil between the living and the spectral, where those who dared to venture never returned. In the heart of a desolate town stood a forgotten chapel, its once vibrant stained glass windows now shattered, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. Curiosity led Mia, a wanderer seeking shelter, to the chapel's creaking doors. Inside, the air was thick with a sense of foreboding, the pews covered in dust as if time had frozen. As Mia's footsteps echoed through the silent hall, the shadows grew longer and more menacing. Whispers, barely audible, surrounded her like a shroud. A sudden chill gripped Mia's heart, but she pressed on, drawn to a flickering candle at the altar. The flame danced wildly, casting grotesque shapes on the walls. Panic rising, Mia turned to flee, only to find the chapel's doors sealed shut. The shadows converged, forming a chilling silhouette that loomed over her. With a gut-wrenching realization, Mia saw her own shadow detach from her, merging with the darkness. As terror consumed her, Mia's existence faded into the shadows, a silent scream echoing through the chapel. The townfolk spoke of the chapel's curse, warning of shadows hungry for lost souls. To this day, the forgotten chapel stands, its shadowy secret waiting for the next unsuspecting visitor. As dusk settled over the abandoned carnival grounds, a lone figure stumbled upon a dilapidated carousel, its once vibrant horses now painted with peeling colors, frozen in twisted poses. Ignoring the warning signs, the figure tentatively climbed onto a creaking wooden horse. With a jolt, the carousel sprang to life, spinning faster and faster to the tune of a macabre melody that seemed to seep into the figure's very soul. Shadows danced around the carousel, forming into ghostly figures that rode alongside. Panic gripped the figure as they realized they were trapped in a spectral parade. Each rotation brought them closer to the edge of reality, where the barrier between the living and the dead blurred. Desperate screams echoed in the night, blending with the haunting music. Just as it seemed, all hope was lost. A final surge of adrenaline propelled the figure to leap off the carousel, landing on the cold ground. The carnival fell silent, the carousel motionless once more. The figure, shaken but alive, glanced back to see the spectral creatures fading into the darkness. A shiver ran down their spine, knowing they had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death at the cursed carnival carousel.